Now, at some point, Matthew, as I understand it, you wanted some photographs doing for your website. I did, yes. And you discussed that with her here, because you thought his photography was good. Um, there can't be any doubt about it, you must have done. It wasn't necessarily because I thought it was good. It's Sorry? Because he explained be quiet. To me, he explained to me that he took photographs, um, didn't mention My anything. grandma takes photographs. Yeah, understandably, but he mentioned that he does. He has a blog that he runs. So I just assumed that you wouldn't put, not you know, up to scratch photos on a blog. You must have checked to some extent the quality of his work. Otherwise, I could have showed up or my grandma saying, "I take photos." <laughs> um, he didn't actually present himself professional at all. No, whether he did or not, did you see any of the photos? Yes or no? I did not. If anything, I am professional. Let's just get that out of there. Just let, get that clear. I am professional for number one. You know my work is professional. You've seen my blog. So don't try your luck. Don't try that <laughs> <laughs> Question is this, sir. Do you have a contract or anything of that kind with this gentleman? No. Well, that's the problem. Matthew, at some point there was a discussion about taking some photographs for your YouTube channel. You arranged a time and a place and a theme. True? Correct. Now, did he discuss that with you over email or by text? Verbal communication. And what photographs did he ask you to take? Photographs of him. Of him? What yes. sort? Um, portraits, um, pictures of him not looking at the camera, just doing his own natural thing. And these were going to be used on his YouTube channel? And his other social media platforms. Understand. Did you ever discuss money, yes or no? It was never discussed. You did not discuss what? Be quiet! It was never discussed. Don't interrupt, yes or no? It was never discussed, Judge. Never discussed? Never discussed. Well, why would you expect him to do it for free? What were you going to give him in return? To be very honest, as he said, he's never received payment for his work because... That's opinion. not the question. Okay. Listen, no free rides, you understand? I There's understand. no such thing as a free lunch. <laughs> what did you believe he was going to get out of giving you free photography? Well, I just thought maybe he would get a bit more experience of photography. What about your view? Did you discuss money? Yeah, we discussed how much money. We, how much did he agree to pay? £25. £5 per picture. Right, so what are you suing for today? £25 or more? £80. Why the 80 I added interest because, obviously, he decided to waste my time and obviously denied that he was meant to pay a certain amount of money. So I've increased oh, the rate. Uh, what rate of interest...? Now, bearing in mind you're a professional photographer, and being professional means you need to be mindful, thoughtful, and have, at the root of anything you say, some sort of intellectual foundation, do you see? Some sort of submission. Tell me about the interest payment. What interest are you adding? I just said interest, but I'll just add whatever comes to my head. <laughs> Why are you entitled to charge another person interest unless the agreement between you is in writing? <laughs> I'm a professional judge! <laughs> now, the point is, sir, you did take some photos. I don't dispute the quality of them. Let's have a look. Now, they're quite nice photos. You just made a face. What was the face? Do you not like them? Oh, like him, that's a difference. Understood. You took the photos. Just okay, so shut up then. No, you Be quiet. Uh, here's, here's a question. When you go online, especially a platform like YouTube, you understand that there's a chance that one of your videos or one of your photographs could end up being used as an advertising campaign without your permission. What's more, without realising, your pancake video, for example, was viewed by a quarter of a million people. There's a possibility it could have been millions more. Nobody quite understands or knows what is successful. If you don't have a written contract between you and another person who you're supplying services for, in this case, photography, how do I know who owns that photograph? That's the first question. Secondly, in the event that he's a huge hit or this photograph ends up being taken off YouTube by, I don't know, let's say some big corporate vehicle, how do you end up getting paid? Do you see? How do I know it's you and what you're entitled to? Who owns what's called the intellectual property here? You, him, who? Do you see? Yes, Judge. So it's very important, and I mean this kindly, that whenever you offer your professional services, whether they're good or not, that you've got something in writing. So that in due course, you aren't exploited and you can move this channel forward, correct? Correct. Were you happy with these photographs? I mean, considering that they were free, yes. 
Well, you must have been happy with the photographs because it seems to me that you've used one of them, correct? I have. And you've used one of them on your website. That's what's made you cross, am I right? Because he Absolutely. hasn't paid you. Yes. Why do you say you don't owe him money? The answer is because you don't have a... Contract. It's stupid. Stay and watch the best judgment of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel right now. That's an order.